Hey guys, welcome back. So in previous video, we have covered, uh, we have created these three content fragment models. And just a correction, in the book content fragment model, whereas I have given this authored books, it should be authors because within from my book uh, content fragment model, I just want to refer uh, this author content fragment model type. So it should be authors. So that was, there was a typo. Okay. Right after this, let's create few content fragment models very quickly. So I am inside my graph well demo final folder. I'll click on create, create and content fragments. Let's first create few authors very quickly. Next, I'll give it as author one. Create, let's open it. I'll say it's author one and author as author book one. <clears throat> Save it. Close it. Let me create another content fragment model. Sorry, content fragment using the same content fragment model. And this time maybe let's say this is author two. Let's open it. Two and this one has an book two. Save it. Close it. Let's create book this time. <clears throat> book one. And this is my book one. Maybe ISPN is ISPN one. And I have used this fragment reference with multi field options. So I can select multiple authors. I can associate. I'll just select the author one. Let's save it. Let me create another. This time I will say it book two. This is my book two. ISBN two. Let's add this time another author. Author two. Save it. Done. And the final one is uh, the independent uh, content fragment model, which is editors. Maybe it's my editor one. Just quickly open it. Editor one and some license number one, two, three, four, five. And so now we have created content fragments, just five content fragments. Let's see in the next video how we utilize them and we'll see the uh, we'll go to GraphQL editor, we'll create queries, we'll query um, these content fragments on the editor. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected.